Hey YouTube, this is the Slingshot Crew back with another top five video. In this top five, we're going over the top five pointless video games of all time, with number five being Prototype 2. Prototype 2 I find kind of pointless because of the story, but everything else I don't really care about. Everything else is good, but the story is mainly what makes the game so just so pointless because this happened two years after Prototype 1, and then he just infects some dude who thinks that he could become a successor, so to say. Number four, we have Five Nights at Freddy's 3. They don't, like, everyone got so hyped by FNAF 3, but I, when it came out, it was just, like, a disappointment. Even Springtrap's jump scares aren't even that scary. I, I bet the, the Phantom's jump scares are pretty good, but once you got used to them, you already know when it's coming. It's just, okay. The only jump scare that actually gets you is Foxy's jump scares, and that was pretty much it. But other than that, everything in the game is kind of disappointment, except for the Easter eggs. So, yeah, there's that. Number three, we have Miss Pac-Man. Now, I love Pac-Man. Is Pac-Man, I've always loved playing in arcades. I used, to, I used to go to arcades a lot, and then I always played fa Pac-Man. <laughs> Batman. I love Pac-Man, but not just the, the arcade. I also like the adventures, Pac-Man and Super Smash Bros. I never played with them, ever, but I still love them. Yeah, he could, he eats ghosts all the time. He was in Pixels. He was this evil monster thing, alien. And, but, I really don't think it was necessary to put Mrs. Pac-Man if it's just going to be the same thing. Because you don't ever see Miss Pac-Man, ever. Like, this is mainly about Pac-Man himself. You don't need a Miss Pac-Man, his wife. Because it makes no difference. Like, he's the same as Pac-Man himself. He collects dots, he eats ghosts, same as always. So, same if they made a... A game about Pac-Man's son or Miss Pac-Man's son. It's just gonna be the same thing again. So why well, is it necessary to make Miss Pac-Man? Number two, we have Mario Kart Seven. Mario Kart Wii came out, mm -hmm. and Mario Kart Wii had good graphics, right? So then you go to Mario Kart Seven, which is supposed to be better, but then it has worse graphics. Now, I understand it's on a different system, but still, if you're gonna make a new game, make it better looking, right? That's all. I'm gone. Let's go on to number one. Number one, we have Super Mario Maker on the Nintendo. The only pointless thing is everything. But I still think it's fun either way, but just, if you look at it in a different picture, it's kind of like, um, why do people make these hard levels? Like, I think it's still they want to be funny with it, but they don't realize they have to beat the level. And oh, yeah, yeah. That's the pointless thing, like if, uh, if you're just gonna make stupid levels like that, just to make people angry, or even there's not really a, I know there's not supposed to be a story behind it, but it's still pointless anyway. Because just because of the levels, because some levels might annoy people, some people might make them angry. They might even like destroy their Wii U. You think you could do these things, but you just can't, Nemo. You just because of that one level, they can't get past. But they don't remember that it's, it's Super Mario Maker. You're you're gonna see levels like that. And plus, you can always just quit the level and come back to it, or just not even play it at all. It was episode 3 of Top 5, so we thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the Slingshot crew. Leave a like, comment what you think. We will see you guys in the next Top 5. <laughs> His left is green.